Hi there and welcome to this video review of the Fearworld LUT5 which is a 5.5 inch ultra bright 3000 nit touchscreen monitor designed for small DSLR and mirrorless cameras. Now just before we begin, Fearworld did send me a monitor for the purpose of this review but they're not paying me in any way and the thoughts and opinions expressed are entirely my own. Now with that being said, let's jump on into the video review. Now let's go over exactly what you get in the box. You get an HDMI to micro HDMI cable and then aside from that, you get a quarter 20 mounting bracket and a small hex key to adjust it. And that's pretty much it. Now the monitor itself is a 5.5 inch touchscreen design. It's made of hard plastic and I've had a lot of field world monitors in the past and I think they offer a good bang for buck. They're not a premium monitor, but they do have a host of features and they are built sufficiently well. I've been using them on set for quite a while now. I've never had any problems. And like I say, what I think they do, they do very well. Now the monitor is a touchscreen design and you access all the menus and settings through the touchscreen. It does have a handy scroll wheel on top, which you can also go through the menus and you can click that to select a menu item as well. Now the monitor has a host of features. You've got a bunch of exposure and color tools, everything you'd expect like waveforms, vector scopes, histograms, false colors, You've also got focus peaking on there and you've got lots of granular level of control so you can change the color of your peaking, how sensitive. So this monitor really does have a wide variety of professional video tools built into it. You've also got audio meters as well. Another really handy feature the monitor has is the pinch to zoom function and you can zoom in all the way up to 500%. So this is really handy if you want that peace of mind of just checking focus while recording without interrupting filming. Another feature that I really like of the Field World monitor is the various mats and markers. You've got a whole array of these in the menu and you can even change the transparency of the mats and overlays as well. So you can really set this monitor up how you like it for your filming scenarios. Now the monitor does claim to support HDR monitoring with three different presets. I wasn't able to verify this, but it does have a number of included LUTs, which is very handy if you're filming in log. And you've also got the ability to load your own custom LUTs in there in the dot cube format. In terms of powering the monitor, it takes Sony MPF batteries. It has a handy release button, so the battery is nicely clipped into the side and then you press that to release the battery when you wanna take it off. Now, in addition to that battery, it also has a dummy battery terminal. And this dummy battery terminal allows you to connect pretty much any accessory you want that is powered off Sony MPF batteries. So you could connect, for example, a video light for an on-camera light if you wanted to, and also wireless HDMI transmitters. So if you did wanna send the feed coming out of your camera from this monitor to another monitor, you can use the HDMI loop out function and send that signal to another monitor somewhere else on set. Now one really handy feature of the dummy battery terminal is that it is adjustable. It has two small screws and by undoing these and loosening them off, you can move that around, you can turn it upside down. So depending on whatever you're using, how that is orientated, you do have the flexibility of changing the position of the dummy battery terminal. Now it comes with a cold shoe mount and this is a little bit fiddly, but on the whole works reasonably well. It comes with a hex key which allows you to adjust the tension on it and then once that's on your camera you can adjust the monitor's tilt function back and forth and by loosening it off as well you can actually spin that monitor all the way around so you can view it from the front of the camera or the side if you do want to. Now obviously one of the headline specs is the 3000 nit brightness of this monitor and this is an extremely bright monitor. It is absolutely perfect for using outside with no sunshade, and you can use this in pretty much even the brightest direct sunlight conditions. Here I have a comparison with the F6 Plus monitor from Field World, and here you can see how much brighter the LUT5 is. In order to match the two monitors, I had the F6 set at 100% brightness and 100% backlight, and I had to dial the LUT5 all the way down to 40% brightness and 0% backlight. Now really, the only downside of the monitor for me was the fan noise that it generates. Obviously, being such a bright unit, the amount of heat that it generates, it does need to be actively cooled. The fan can be turned down, but it can't be turned off. 
So this is just something to take into account. You don't want your audio recording device, your microphone too near this monitor. So overall, I think the LUT5 is a solid monitor with a wide array of professional tools. Obviously, the main selling point of this monitor is that ultra bright 3000 nit screen. And if you're someone who needs a monitor for outdoor use, even in the very brightest of conditions, the Feel World LUT5 might be perfect for you. Hopefully you found that video useful. If you've got any questions or comments on the Feel World LUT5, please do drop them below and I'll do my very best to get back to you. Thanks very much for watching and I'll see you next time.